Welcome to another episode of One Way Costa Rica. Chaco City. for everything when traveling beaches areas in Costa Rica, not only Chaco, wear light clothes. Huh. Yeah, so light clothes is important because you're gonna sweat a lot and very important to get yourself a small side bag because there is no pockets in the pants. Because of the weather and if you're planning to travel any waterfalls or walking in water, yeah, get yourself a waterproof bag, very important. Yeah, and waterproof shoes or just sandals. Yeah, you will feel me. more comfortable and won't sweat that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the waterproof stuff are important because you're literally walking in water. Chaco is a more Tika Playa beach city. Its population contains... Around 12,000 people. Yeah, most of them... Uh are local and some of them expand from all Latin America and from all over the world. It is an hour and a half or two hours drive, depends on traffic, from San Jose, the main city of Costa Rica. So if it's important for you, malls, Walmarts, all that kind of stuff, this is the most uh, close city from the beach areas of Punta Arenas to San Jose. And because of that, mostly in the weekends, the city of Jaco is full, full of people that are coming from San Jose and all different areas, and it's full of people. The city of Jaco is basically one big main street with lots of little different uh, streets that are coming out to the beach or to the inside the city where people are living, mostly locals, some hotels. Yeah, the main street contains mostly uh, stores, bars, restaurants, uh, you know, cool places to sit and uh, many shopping for tourists. But, uh, and it has like more uh, fancy, let's say, yeah. centers like yeah, yeah. the Hako Walk. Yeah, in Hako Walk it's like the most fanciest place here, I think, right? Like uh, all the restaurants and the places to play with your kids and the shops. They even got a mini golf and a really nice gelato place, uh, coffee. So you can find almost everything in the city. You can buy surfboards, you can buy uh, food, there are supermarkets. The cheapest ones, by the way, are Max Menos and Pali, the local ones, and Dragon, the Chinese. This, uh, this is the three cheap supermarkets in Hako. The best soda in town is Soda Garabito. It's a local cousin. Yeah, there is some nightlife here, but not so so. There are some bars. The green room and yeah. the Chaco bar on the main street. And closer to the beach, uh, there are many places on Chaco Beach. We like the Hermosa places. There is Bowie's Point and Vida Hermosa that also have parties on the weekends. Yeah, it's like the most young place for the youngest people, the most party place place like you can find around here yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, we're laughing not because it's not cool but because it's uh, pretty uh, much like a family local vibe in the city and yeah. less yeah, yeah and less uh, touristic young and uh, okay. there are some tourists but lo mostly families and surfers yeah only yeah. on christmas it was really crazy and on weekends yeah. you can see like more young people. yo fernando <laughs> <laughs> it's our neighbors <laughs> yeah, you have to say hello so yeah um, but for families it's great and for people that is important for them to stay close to San Jose for whatever reason so yeah it's the closest beach yeah if you want to be like near the San Jose the main city and like stay half in the like city vibe so this can be like a nice place for a you. solution yeah live in the beach and the jungle and still being close to the city and keep in mind if you are a couple or just anyone looking for a normal massage in yeah. Chaco go to a resort or to a big fancy place and pay more because all the places on the street mostly of them have happy endings <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the beaches around Chaco you have the Chaco beach, it's like the perfect uh, beach for surfers, and in the sound, the Hermosa. 
If you go to the north and you want to chill, swim, you have the Heradura beach, so you can chill and swim without big waves. There are a lot of uh, waterfalls areas with hiking, without hiking, for more tranquil and families. There is the uh, abandoned place. Yeah, El Miro, that's a beautiful place with the graffiti, you can travel around. And, and has crazy view. Yeah, the Crocodile Bridge, you have lots of activity just by half hour drive or a hour drive from Chaco. Yeah, and if you don't want to think at all and just pay money, you have adventurous parks with zip lines, with canopy lines, with ATVs, with yeah. everything you can possibly yeah. think about in places like this. So, to get around in Chaco. Yeah, you can, uh, if you like, live in the city and not in a jungle like us on top of the mountain, so you can just rent a bike or an ATV or uh, use Uber. Yeah, people even just go by bicycle if you're on the beach or in uh, the city of Chaco, the main street. Yeah. And an ATV literally can get you anywhere, if you, even if you want to go to the mountains. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you can rent a car. It will be the most expensive option, but you can. Uh, if you live in, in mountains area or places like this, that only four by four. Yeah, and important. make sure, make sure. Make sure to have it four by four. Why <laughs> <Like> so dramatic? <laughs> but yeah, he's right. Yeah. Um, and again, if you're traveling alone and you're staying only in Chaco area, then an ATV will get you anywhere. You don't have to have a car. So if you're looking to buy a property or a land in Costa Rica, Chaco is in Punta Arenas province and it is the only place you can get lots beachfront with the title. Yeah, and on the mountain, inside the jungle, the lots are uh, pretty cheaper than most of the area. Also, the Airbnb. In total, for us, Chaco felt more like a... a... Family, local place, yeah, less for youngsters like us that want to party and live and work <laughs> and do stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I can't say it's not beautiful or anything, because it is, but it was like too slow and chill. And now we're moving to Tamarindo, it's in Guanacaste province. Yeah, more uh, like energetic place, more uh, alive, more build, more stuff is happening there. Yeah, we haven't been there yet, but uh, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> For the next episode. The next episode, yo. Did you subscribe to our channel? Did you check our Instagram? And check out the last shorts because it was in Manuel Antonio Beach and it was... Did you see the wow. Manuel Antonio beach? Did you subscribe? Did you subscribe to the beach?